when I was still in high school, I was so desperate for male validation and attention. I used to have a thing with this boy and he used to call me the n-word and I just let him. Not only did he call me the n-word, but he wanted me to call him my master as a term of endearment and I did. He'll be like, what's up my little n-word or my little slave baby? And I'd be like, hey, master. Unsurprisingly, it turned out he never liked me and I was just an inside joke between his friends. What the hell did you just say? Now I will never be your hater, I'm your biggest fan. I hope it falls in a place just how you planned it. Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like real witness until you smell the roses. Uh, we're not just gonna skip over this. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, no, no. You don't love me and I know now. Listen, y'all know good and well, somebody need to talk to this girl. Get this book on Amazon while you at it. Listen, first and foremost, you know, I, I, they didn't want the, they did, they did the whole FBA thing and said she was like Haitian or something. Fine, whatever. Who told you that that was cool? Like, what makes y'all think, oh, I want to be in a relationship and I'm young, so I'm going to let somebody call me that. And this is an issue. And this is why they bring up the FBA, non-FBA thing. When you put yourself in a position, you're like, well, that's really not me. That's them. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to make it. Who you? Who you? You disrespecting yourself, actually. You know, and, and, and why would you think that's a game to play? He's just walking around and he said, yeah, I mean, this got to be a predominantly white school. It's got to be. It's got to be because if it was like a mixed school, it's, it, he would have got punched in the face and you would have got cussed out. But you know what? This, it, it, it tells you a lot about a person's character, a person's upbringing and how they, they see themselves and what they're willing to do for whatever kind of attention or affection that they deem important, right? Because there's no way, there ain't no way that you go, oh yeah, this, this is it's okay. Yeah, yeah, this makes a whole lot of sense. This is what we do, you know? Oh, because I, because I like you, I'll let you call me this. Nobody who, if anybody says, you know, we got red flags, that should be a red flag if somebody wants to disrespect you as a sign of love. That's a red flag. That's a definite red flag. That's a definite, oh, uh, you know what? I don't really think they mess rocking with me like that because they're not. You're smoking something. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's hella ridiculous. But hey, this is what we're dealing with in society. And guess what? I got to take this to another place. This is also one of the issues that, that people have along the way when they go, this is why black men have an issue because guess what? As a person like her gets older, that's going to be lumped into men do this and men do that. It's like men have been disrespectful. It's like, well, uh, time out, time out, rewind the tape. Rewind the like that. Like, rewind this. That ain't, that ain't no black guy. We see you'll lump black guys into this. And, and we got to go a step further. For all of y'all who, you know, who are partial to interracial dating, I don't really care. This is the type of behavior that we talk about y'all excusing. Oh, well, it's okay. It's okay, Brad. We just play like that. You know, we've seen it on YouTube. You know, girls putting Confederate mask on, you know, she's, a, she's just a home ghetto gagger for her own self. It's like, hey, I just want to troll your black guys. We can let the white guy say, hey, that you're, that you're nothing and you're beneath us. And it's like, okay. All right, just because you actually beneath the Grand Wizard or he's behind you at night and you and you you think it's a good cosplay, don't bring that over here. I, I talked about it previously back in the day. You know, you 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 got online or you was online dating. They used to have a they used to have a black women. <laughs> I, I don't deal with black men. No black men. No black men. No black men. It's like, oh, okay. You know, you get off the site, you come back year, two years later. 
I'm sorry. Uh, because of my bad experiences, I would, I, I would, I, I'm, I'm looking for black men now. Hey, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, no, 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 you don't love me, and I know no. It's like, no, 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 no. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. Y'all playing too many games out here in these streets. And then, I, you know. I know your parents probably saw this video. You, you, if you got siblings, your brothers, your sisters, your, your cousins, it's like, what? We told y'all, we told y'all, we told y'all, we told y'all she something was wrong with her. And now you finally seen it. You know, so we got to talk about the self-hate. Because when people talk about self hate, that that's what they talking about sometimes with this, like with interracial relationships, is the 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 idea that if you date out of your race, there's going to be some form of self hate built into the equation. That's not necessarily true, but you definitely, but it's not an across the board thing. But you definitely get the stereotype because the majority of people online talking about interracial relationships that are black talk about them in a way that, you know, they could be a uh, pet on the head, like, good, good boy, good girl, you know what I'm saying, like that. So it's like, mm, it looks like it's a bit of self-hate, you know, that that's driving you to this, but just because you have a self-hate issue, don't put that on the rest of us, right? You don't know what it's like. You need to, you need to level up. Okay. All right. And now you, you letting somebody call you, you calling somebody master. I guess this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. How did you let this happen to yourself? You know, but we've seen this type of behavior if you get flued out too. But we're not going to talk about that part because it's only the black guys flying y'all out. The other guys flying y'all out and doing all kinds of shenanigans to you. Those guys don't count. You know, oh, we don't, we don't, we need to talk about the, 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 the fetish fl flew out, you know, the fetish that gets flown out. It is, it's, it's very interesting, but talk to y'all in the next one. Tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm going to take you. <laughs>